Transcribers, um, I'm sorry that my video is late again. Um, it is 6.30 or 7 o'clock in the morning on Friday. Um, I had a friend come over last night on Thursday and I worked the whole day. So I kind of didn't have, I didn't, it's not that I didn't have time. It's that I did not make time for my video. So I apologize. Um, so this week's topic is, um, Changes, which was actually mine slash Tyler's idea because we were having some issues um, a few weeks ago and we really wanted to kind of talk about it. Um, so, yeah, changes just as far as like, not just changes as far as testosterone, but because we kind of talked about that earlier, but changes emotionally, um, their attitude. So, yeah. Um, what changes did you notice in your partner after he came out as trans? Um, he was a lot more concerned about what his body looked like or like how he presented himself. Um, before testosterone, he didn't really care how people perceived him for the most part. But after he started, after he came out as trans, he really wanted to make sure that people thought and treated him like a man, a male. Um, yeah. What changes did you notice in your partner after he came out to others as being trans? He felt before he actually came out as trans, it was kind of, he didn't have as much confidence. And after he came out to other people, he became a lot more confident. Like, this is really what I want to do. People have seen me as a guy my whole life. Um, it makes it a little bit easier when you have support from other people. So he did get more confident as far as who he is and um, how he wants people to see him in the world so what changes did you notice in your partner after he came out at work um he came out he didn't come out at work when he was living back home but once he moved to Sacramento he was out at work and it was I mean it's phenomenal like he doesn't have any problems um he I think he enjoys his job more because people don't call him she at work like the customers so he enjoys it a lot more, I think. Um, what changes did you notice in your partner after the first therapist visit? After In California, you, you don't have to necessarily have a therapist visit um, to get your T letter. Um, so after the first, he was seeing a therapist before he did start T just as like stationary precautions. And he wanted to talk to someone about, um, his transition and his family and how they're taking it all. Um, he, after the first, uh, any, I want to try to stop using, um, um, after the first therapist visit, he was ecstatic. He was just like, this person made me feel like I am not crazy. Like, they completely confirmed all of his feelings. Like, they were like, and how old are you again? And you have this much of your life figured out already? Like, this is how you feel and that you were born in the wrong body? Like, that is so amazing to find out, like, at such a young age. Um, I mean, not to find out, but to enact on it and feel, like, completely comfortable. Because he's felt it his whole life, but he just didn't know how to go along about doing it. Um, and he just, the therapist also helped him really feel comfortable with his family as far as his decision. Like he's not just like doing this out on a whim. Um, this is truly what he wants to do and he, he doesn't want to, he's not going to have regrets about it. So it's not just, he's just like making a decision. Hey, I'm going to stick some random substance in my body for the next, for the rest of my life pretty much and not worry about the consequences. He is completely fully consider the consequences um what changes did you notice in your partner after he started t first month or so um obviously facial hair downstairs growth um in the first month or so uh he his voice got lower he got broader in the shoulders he he smells different he smells like more like a boy um, 
yeah, I think that's about it as far as changes. Yeah, that's about it. Um, what no what changes do you notice after he began on T for more than a month? Um, Tyler has been on testosterone for about six months now, and I've definitely noticed more changes as far as attitude wise and mentally that I wasn't really anticipating. Um, and he wasn't either. So it's kind of, he went to his doctor the other day and he was kind of talking to his doctor about it, but he's a lot more, um, resistant to me sometimes as far as I do have to admit, I'm kind of a neat, neat freak, but like, I just like to have a clean house and for not shit to be everywhere and kind of like just to keep things in order because it makes me feel comfortable when I come home after work that I don't have to constantly be doing something, you know, um, to get stuff done. And he's, we have two different, uh, we just have two different ideas of what the house should look like and it's hard for me to kind of ask him to do things and then he's just like, well, you're ordering me around and you're yelling at me and you know, you always have a bad attitude about stuff and so he, when I asked him to do things, so he's like, no, I'm not going to do it. Like, whatever, she's upset about something, but I don't really care. So he's, he's feeling like he's changing and he's just like, baby, I don't want to become a douchebag. And I'm like, I don't want you to become one either. Um, Cause that would just be no point now. Um, other things, he gets angry a little bit, actually a lot easier um, he gets frustrated, like, he, he tells me, like, sometimes when he gets frustrated with, whether it be, like, a customer at work or, like, a co-worker at work, he's just, like, you're gonna just, like, it took me so much not to pound him in the face. And I'm, like, you were the least physical person I've ever met in my whole entire life, and now you're saying you want to punch someone in the face? That's not normal. That's not the person that I knew when I got into this relationship. So it's kind of scary. Like, I don't really like that aspect. But it's just, I think they're going through the changes right now. It's only been six months. So he he's still getting used to this new him. So I'm kind of taking it with a grain of salt. So I'm not getting too upset about it. But if it does continue to be this way, it may be a problem. Um, but I mean, every, I mean, he's going through a huge, huge change. It's not like... You know, he's taking insulin pills or insulin shots and it's just supposed to make him feel better. It's like actually changing his state of being. So, um, and I'm sorry that I look like so shitty. I'm in my scrubs right now and I'm supposed to be leaving for work soon. Um, so what changes did you notice in your partner after top surgery? Hasn't had top surgery yet. Um, next change, I mean change that I can expect I'm gonna be all over him more often because he's gonna have his shirt off like 24 7 I feel um what changes are you most excited about through this ent entire process finally I'm really excited about going somewhere and being like this is my boyfriend and people not questioning it like you know finally that this is just my boyfriend it's not my trans boyfriend he wasn't born female He's not taking testosterone. He's not waiting for top surgery or bottom surgery. I'm not going to tell you how much it is. I'm not going to tell you when he did this, how his family treats him and blah, blah, blah. I'm excited to not talk about that anymore. And, you know, meeting new people or going to a club or anything. So, or going to a bar. I'm really excited about him finally being what we've been working on. Or what he really, truly feels. Um... What changes have made you the most nervous, anxious, worried through the entire process? Just them changing, like, we weren't really expecting this whole, like, mental change and, like, different, how he takes in feelings different as far as emotions and um, how he shares them. Like, I think he's cried once in the last six months and he was, like, he didn't have a hard time crying and now he kind of has a hard time crying. I'm running out of time. Oh, what changes have occurred in the following ways? Anyways, okay, I have to go. Sorry. Okay, everybody have a good day. Bye.